Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I'm going to be unboxing and briefly reviewing the 4K picture of Crawl. Now, I mentioned this edition in a previous video, and I'm just going to reiterate what I said in that video, just in case you did miss it. But I pre-ordered this from Zavi months ago, and I was very patient with Zavi with this release. Uh, I was actually waiting nearly three weeks, uh, and there was no sign of this being uh, dispatched. So I started emailing them, you know, private messaging them on Twitter. Of course, no response from Zavi. So I ended up cancelling the item because I was just fed up waiting. So I went on to Amazon France one day. I came across this edition of it. And it's the exact same as the Zavi edition. The only thing that's different is, naturally, there's a bit of French writing on the back of the box. Other than that, the artwork is the exact same. And all the contents you get inside it is the exact same as the Zavi, Zavi edition. And I also got it for 10 euros cheaper. So it was a win-win in the end. It just took me a while to finally get this into my hands. As for the movie itself, it's such a wonderful movie. Uh, if you're not really aware of the movie, it's about this father and daughter who are trapped in their basement during a category 5 hurricane the only problem is they're not down there by themselves there's a couple of alligators and because there is a hurricane the basement is slowly starting to flood so they have to try and escape or they're going to drown or be eat alive by some alligators it's a wonderful wonderful movie and if you are into your movies movies like jaws i think you will get something from this movie it's such a yeah it's such a fun ride uh, it is produced by Sam Raimi, directed by Alexander Aja, I think his name is. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. And uh, he directed movies like The Hills Have Eyes Remake and Mirrors. And if you have seen them movies, I think you know what to expect with this one. Uh, there will be violence, and rest assured, there is violence. But don't, don't, don't let it put it off you. It's still a wonderful, suspenseful movie, and it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, it was uh, it was a real surprise hit in the box office as well. No one was expecting it to make the movie that uh, money that it done. Uh, had a budget of around thirteen to fifteen million, grossed a little bit over ninety million uh, worldwide. That is, and because of its success, uh, a sequel has been greenlit, and uh, chances are now it'll probably go on to make an absolute terrible sequel. Fingers crossed they don't, but chances are they might. Uh, what is a wish Hollywood? Why can't why can't we have movies like this just left alone? You know, you've made just a money off it, you know, move on, do something else. Uh, don't start ruining it by bringing out some absolutely pointless sequels. But uh, look, again, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I know the same director is coming back for it. And uh, let's hope that lightning strikes twice. Um, as for the 4K transfer, I'm not going to spend much time on this, folks. Um, it is one of them, you know, run-of-the-mill 4K uh, discs where it's a minor upgrade over that Blu-ray. The Blu-ray already looked fantastic. This one does look better. Again, it's all down to the Dolby Vision colors because this movie is held in a basement. It's real dark environments. And uh, thankfully the Dolby Vision, just the black levels on it look absolutely amazing. And it does make a difference. I, I, I really mean that when you actually check out the Blu-ray, and you do just check a lot of the basement scenes in this and you do compare it then to the 4K, you are going to see a noticeable difference. Unfortunately, the Blu-rays just can't hit them black levels the way a 4K disc can. There is some fine detail as well there, but again, you'll be hard pressed to see it uh, for most of the time. But all in all, I found, I found it to be a nice 4K uh, transfer. And if you are a fan of the movie, I think it's worth upgrading, I really do. I think I would, I would recommend maybe trying to get it on sale if you could. It also has a 7.1 DTS audio as well, and it's the exact same that we got on the Blu-ray, and it sounds amazing. It really, really does. So um, I, there was no need for a Dolby Atmos on this one. I think the 7.1 is just adequate. It was perfect. So uh, yeah, I was very, I'm happy. I'm very happy with it, and I'm very happy with this release of it. So right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us around it, and I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. Right, so here we go. Crawl. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is I love uh, the artwork that you get on this release. I was always a fan of this artwork. It kind of tells you everything you need to know about Crawl. As you can clearly see, there is a hurricane going on. There is some alligators. And that's Crawl in a nutshell. <laughs> it really, really is. So the uh, the box itself kind of has this kind of matte finish. But the sign and the actual title of the movie have this spot glossing going on. Uh, I will try and bend the light off it and I hope you can make it out. But uh, yeah, it's actually very, very nice. And in case you are wondering as well, it is a lovely, solid hard box. And I found that to be quite surprising. I thought this was going to come in a real kind of flimsy looking box. But um, no, this is uh, unbelievably solid. And yes, I'm a big, big fan of it. And um, really happy that I did pick this one up. Right, so I'll put this onto the spine of it here. 
and uh, that's a close look at it so you got your crawl there in the middle paramount logo on the right and then of course the 4k logo in the bottom so uh, take us around then to the back and this is a French edition so a lot of the writing on this is going to be of course in French but uh, I will take us in and give us a close look at some of the uh, supplements that you do get on this uh, something's telling me it's very similar to the Blu-ray release and then I will just quickly take us down and show you a couple uh, close look at some of the um, technical aspects there if you do want to pause it and check them out so uh, yeah that is the the back artwork on this one uh, the back sorry the back content sorry and uh, yes I'm a big fan of this one I really do like the uh, the box itself now I know a lot of people are not a big fan of the 4k ultra uh, logo being printed onto the box but honestly I really don't mind so uh, yeah I'm not gonna really nitpick about it so uh, yes very very happy uh, with this release so right let's open it up and have a look at some of the contents inside so um, what I will do is first is just take just to remove uh, all the items that you do get inside it, and then we'll get onto this stuff very very soon. But uh, I will show you as quickly the the disc uh, artwork that you get on this. So uh, over here is your Blu-ray disc, and then when I work across, that is your 4K disc. So I'm going to remove the disc and just give you a close look at some of the uh, the, the close look at the artwork here. Uh, on this and it is very very nice I really again the red and black it just works so well for me uh, it's actually kind of sinister looking that picture uh, particularly with the woman there just kind of the way she's looking at you the way she's looking at me it's uh yeah it's kind of freaking me out a little bit so uh, right so that is the uh the inside artwork I'm just going to put these discs back in and uh, I will show you the other side right so flip it around and there we go, uh, swim like hell, and you've got this giant alligator. Yes, I'm very, very impressed with some of the artwork through this sesh. Um, it has really, really taken me by surprise. Um, it's a welcome surprise as well. So, uh, right, that is the uh, the digipack itself. And uh, let's go on to uh, some of the items that you do get inside it. So uh, I'll put that to a side. And uh, the first thing you will see here is some postcards. Now, as far as I remember, and this is actually quite nice as well, but uh, all these postcards are actually behind the scenes stills. Now, I think that's actually quite uh, refreshing because most of the postcards that you do get uh, with these sets, they're always like just stills from the actual movie itself. So to get, get, some, get, to get some sort of um, behind the scenes footage is actually, uh, yeah, it's another welcome, uh, welcome surprise. So uh, yeah, they have a high gloss finish as well. So uh, there you go, that's a couple of the postcards that you do get with it, and there's nothing on the backs of them. Right, so I'll put them to a side. And up next we have this, uh, I suppose you can call it a plaque. It is, it's actually quite a thick uh, plaque as well. And uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I don't know if it's made of metal or is it, sh or is it wood. It's very, very hard to tell. But uh, it's very well made, it has to be said. So as you can see, that is the warning sign that you've seen on the... Uh, the front cover so uh, yeah that's actually uh, something very different uh, and new uh, never got one of these before for any kind of edition so uh, yeah that's very nice right so put that to a side now this is actually written in French but again it's as far as I know it's basically how to survive an alligator attack and I think the picture pictures you know basically tell you everything you need to know I don't think you need uh, the writing to actually understand uh, what is actually going on with this so uh, yeah and then right around the back of it, you kind of got this bloodied handprint. Right, so I'll put that to a side. And then last, we have the uh, poster. And uh, it is the original uh, artwork that we got with this set. So I'll uh, see if I can get this in frame. So there you go. Again, I'm such... I just I can't stress it enough how much I love the artwork uh, on this. Now, I'm going to just quickly bring in that plaque. And I'm going to just show you, as, as you can see, the plaque that you do get with it. It is the exact same as the one there. So uh, yeah, that is actually quite nice to get. So there you have it, folks. That is everything that you get in this release. So uh, I'm just going to quickly recap. So you get the, that poster there. You also get the plaque. Uh, you got that kind of how to uh, survive an alligator attack. Uh, you kind of got a few uh, postcards there as well, behind the scenes uh, postcards. You've also got your digi pack there. And of course, the box that houses it all in. Yeah, I'm a real fan of this release. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is Crawl. And again, like I said, if you have not seen the movie, do check it out. I think it's a good creature feature movie. Is that what you call it? A creature feature movie? I'm hoping that's right. But if you are into them, like I said, like Jaws, Piranha, all them kind of movies, 
I think you'll get something out of this movie as well. So that is it, folks. That is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.